Who here knows why we feed them Coke and candy? Raise your hand. I'd love a volunteer. Okay, Ray? Uh, uh, it just gives them that sugar high, and it kind of makes them more susceptible to saying yes. Yes, Ray, thank you. Ray, Ray's an old vet. He's been with us a long time, and he knows when you give them that drink and candy, two things. You're breaking bread with the customer, right? Literally, they're consuming something. You're doing something organic, right? You're engaging their five senses, right? One of their five senses, right? That taste, right? That touch, because you're handing them, right? And also, candy and drinks tend to give us a little bit of a sugar spike, which uh, makes people happy for about 20, 30 minutes, which is just enough time to run their credit. If they look a little sleepy, offer them another drink. I don't care if they drink a six pack while they're waiting there, guys. It's okay. Be generous with those customers that are waiting. If their kids want candy or whatnot, be very nice. Treat them like you would. You know you're like that really cool dude on Halloween that gives candy to little kids and they're all happy and they love you to death, right? Like, be like that cool neighbor dude who's handing out the good candy to the kids and you're a nice person. Here, take two, man. No problem, you know? People appreciate that friendliness.